Hey guys, Professor Phil, Comic Book University, and Jean Grey, issue number 11 of 11. Ah! So, Dan is hopeless. This is apparently his last issue of this comic. This is the last issue period of this comic. I don't know that I would really want to go on without him writing it. Uh, this was pretty good. This was pretty good. The, the comic is ending, so we're really just going to get Jean Grey, little Jean Grey, coming into her own. What happens is it seems as though she goes to limbo, but it's not really limbo. It's more like hell. And then she goes around and starts meeting all these other, like, it's it's pretty obvious that they're, she's going around and she's meeting all these other versions of uh, Phoenix hosts. <laughs> so they can't hurt her, which is interesting. No matter what they do, they can slam her around. They can smack her around. She can go flying miles away, but they can't actually hurt her no matter what happens. So Jeannie figures this out really quickly. And then she's like, you know, okay, why don't we just have a conversation? Okay. Cause I'm done fighting you. And she realizes that they're all really the same. So it turns out she's in the white hot room. So what does Jeannie says? The hot white, the hot white, what now? <laughs> I thought that was just like one of the best lines. Just one of the best lines ever. That was great. The white hot, what now? <laughs> I would almost like to see that as a little like, you know, eight by 10 poster, you know, like just a little uh, graphic card. That was, that was funny. I like that. So anyway, she's in the white hot room and she's having her own little conversation with the Phoenix. And the Phoenix is like, you know, you, you conspired against me from the very beginning. The real Jean Grey, she, she actually loved me and she wanted to be with me and things like that. So this is cool, man, because we're talking about a, a supreme cosmic entity right here who just wants a host, someone who's going to love it, you know? This really reminds me a lot of the Clintar, the, uh, the the Venom symbiote. And, well, the other symbiotes don't really give as much uh, depth, as much information, but the, the Venom symbiote does. And it just, it wants its host to love it, you know, as it loves its host. So, yeah, this, this right here, this was actually a little bit sad, you know? Uh... It almost felt like, like in the Resurrection of Jean Grey, issue five of five, the, the Phoenix was just really sad. Here, it was just really dejected. It was really angry, you know? So I get the feeling right now that the, the Phoenix is just being displayed as some big kid. And it's, it's good. I actually like that. I really do like that. A cosmic kid, so to speak, with unlimited power and life and death, resurrection, rise from the ashes, powers. Anyway, so I kind of dug this. So Jean Grey says, listen, I defeated you. You know I beat you. So why don't you just let me go? Just grant me the one wish I want. Just let me go home. So the Phoenix does. So she's not actually dead. All right. She actually got, you know, unburned, <laughs> so to speak, and came back. And, um, and I like that because that is what the Phoenix does. Life, death, and rebirth. So Jean Grey goes home and everybody's like, oh, Jean, we should try. And, and everybody's like, and then she's just like, dude, I don't want to talk. And, and this is, mind you, this is back in Madripoor, like the nicest house ever in Madripoor. And everybody's like, like Tiger Tiger didn't have a house like this. Anyway, so uh, she goes and she lays down, like just plops face first on the bed. And who should walk in the room? Jean Grey adult version. Oh, man. So we actually get to have this cool conversation. So this is supposed to go on in some new comic, I guess. I don't know. I'm just really sad that this comic is ending. This was a really good series. I absolutely loved it. And I know it was all meant just to, to be like, you know, hey, I'm getting ready for the Phoenix to come. This was kind of like the an 11-issue prelude, 10-issue prelude with a conclusion to Phoenix Resurrection. But it was still really good. I loved this series. And I'm really sad, really disappointed to see it go. Ah, whatever. It was an amazing concept. So I'm going to give this comic book an A+. Plus. Yeah, like that. It was really great. It wasn't like, you know, some phenomenal piece of work where it's like, you know, I'll remember this forever. But it was very interesting, the concepts that were used here. Um, I actually will probably remember this forever. But the idea is that there were a lot of different concepts used that we haven't seen Jean Grey use before. So thus, young Jean Grey, she got to to, you know, the idea of actually just talking to the Phoenix and, and seeing through its illusions and just saying, no, I'm not, I'm not. Even adult Jean Grey wasn't able to do that over in uh, Phoenix Resurrection. So young Jean, uh, young Jean Grey could. Uh, I love that. I love that. I love the idea that these two are still just a little bit different. 
All right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.